great day for the El Paso Chihuahuas organization as the third manager introduced today, Rod Barajas, as we welcome you back to Sports Talk. Steve Kaplowitz here with the new skipper for the El Paso Chihuahuas. Well, for you, it's a homecoming. It only took 17 years to get you back to El Paso, but now it's finally happened. No, oh, yeah, and I'm excited. Uh, you know, El Paso uh, had some special moments in my life here in El Paso, so, you know, coming back here and, and being a part of uh, the El Paso Chihuahuas, being a part of this beautiful stadium, uh, uh, vibrant, exciting fans, and, uh, you know, just this community. I'm really looking forward to this season, and, uh, and hopefully we can do something for the something special for the fans here in El Paso. What a ride it's been for you uh, since your playing days ended now through the uh, coaching and managing ranks. So yet last year, you know, A-ball, now here in AAA. You just turned 40. Happy birthday, and welcome to AAA. Well, you know, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, obviously the San Diego Padres have, have trust that I'm able to, to handle this, this job and take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, you know, I, uh, I feel like baseball is kind of my DNA, and, and, and this, what, this is what I know. This is what I do well. So, you know, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, trying to get the most out of my players. And, you know, there's a lot of players that are stuck at this level in AAA, and, and hopefully I can impact some of those guys' careers and get them up to the, the major leagues. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm just looking forward to this, man. Uh, the baseball, the atmosphere, uh, you know, just from talking to, you know, Padres, uh, staff and, and, and former coaches they said this place is second to none in the minor league so you know I'm looking forward to this opportunity and uh, you know hopefully impacting and uh, players lives and, and, and making a, a difference here in El Paso. Rod do you try to use the same mentality dealing with the uh, players today the egos and, and some of these guys coming up the system like you did when you were in the clubhouse as a player? Well it's uh, it's a little different it definitely is without a doubt uh, I think as, as, as a coach uh, you have to evolve also you know the players are evolved and they're they're changing and you have to kind of tweak what uh maybe your philosophy was uh coming through the minor league system because it, it it's definitely different so you know but that being said there's certain things that i feel like are 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 shouldn't be changed you know things that have to be done the right way have to be you know respected and um, that's never going to change in my opinion so obviously uh like i said game change game evolves but there's certain things that that that, that they're part of baseball that can't be uh, that can't be tweaked that can't be uh, adjusted and you know for me that that's what I'm gonna expect out of my players and hold them to that standard. What's the biggest difference between the minor league ball player now compared to the minor league ball player 20 years ago when you were coming up the system? Well, I mean everybody knows the minor league ball players now. Uh, when, when I was coming up, uh, nobody knew who you were. You, you weren't a big deal. You weren't on ESPN's top 100 prospects. You weren't. Uh, you know, uh, all over the internet. Uh, you know, nowadays, uh, people know who a lot of these minor league players are. You know, they've been they've been uh, in the limelight since they were in, in high school and in, in college. Uh, these, uh, you know, the, the Latin players uh, with all the uh, the covers that the you know the the, uh, the Latin players you know, when they sign, how much they get, all that stuff's public now, and and, and you can get a, a little ahead of yourself as a player. And when I was coming up, like I said, nobody knew who you were. You were just another guy out there playing uh, in Cohen Stadium or playing in High Desert, and you know the fans were there just to watch a baseball game. So I think uh, players uh, nowadays might uh, think a little more of themselves than what they should. You know, they're, they're all minor leaguers at this point, and you want to be treated like a big leaguer, get to the big leagues. It's a good way to put it. Now, um, knowing that this team is still kind of a work in progress, where uh, spring training's right around the corner, and yet we've seen AJ make some deals. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, players have arrived via trade that could very well be ticketed for El Paso and excited about that. But it, probably you won't really know your roster until you uh, head out to Peoria and, and really see how spring training unfolds. Exactly. Uh, you know, uh, I think spring training is about a month away. Uh, you know, I'll get down there uh, in Big League camp and, and kind of take a look at the guys. Uh, you know, obviously there's there's maybe 15 to 20 spots that are already taken on the Big League roster. So I'll get a good understanding of, of, of what might be coming here and uh, – which guys might be a part of, of our roster and uh, kind of get to know them, kind of get to see what I'm going to be working with. So, you know, spring training for me is work. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to start preparing myself for this season and, and, and starting to get to know these players and uh, trying to put ourselves in, in, in a position to win. Uh, and, and for me, you know, a lot of people say in the minor leagues, it's about developing, developing the player. Uh, you know, I want to develop winning players. I want to develop guys who have a thirst for winning championships and, uh, you know, we're going to come here with the intention of trying to win. And, uh, you know, we're still going to develop guys, but we're going to try to win games. And, and hopefully uh, we can do some special things here and, and, and some of our other affiliates and, you know, give these guys a taste of, of what winning's like and, 
when they get to the big leagues, that's uh, going to be number one priority to win championships. March 31st is going to be an exciting day for El Paso. A chance to come out here to the ballpark, watch the Chihuahuas take on the San Diego Padres. It's rare to get those kind of exhibition games in a AAA town. And for you, what an opportunity to get your first experience here at the ballpark. Oh, it'll be awesome. Uh, you know, as a player, I, I had a couple times where uh, in the minor leagues, uh, where the major league team came into town and, and did do these exhibition games. And I can tell you the excitement that 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 uh, that, that brought was 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 second to none. Uh, you know, you see in the major league guys, you're going to see the Matt Kemp's out here, the uh, Derek Norris's, the uh, Andrew Kashner's out here. The fans, you know, they might never have a, another opportunity to watch these guys play in person. So, you know, for the Padres to you know agree to do this, it, it, it's uh, it shows how important this this uh, this city, this organization is to them. So, you know, it's going to be a, an electric, uh, you know. Uh, type of atmosphere and uh, you know managing against the San Diego Padres my first AAA game I'll take it last question you're moving the family down here so you're gonna be spending the season with them are there any uh, old stomping grounds restaurants wise or places that you're looking forward to uh, experience again that you remember from your days in El Paso well it's just pretty much everything uh, you know a lot of the memories are gone but uh, you know I'm, I'm here to refresh refresh myself and my wife the same thing to you know bring up old memories uh, you know, try to try to find the old places that we used to hang out. But, you know, from what I've heard, El Paso has is, is, is changed, and that a lot of it has to do with this stadium uh, being built, and uh, and it's a lot better El Paso. So I'm looking forward to getting to know this city and uh, and growing with it. Well, we're looking forward to working with you this year. Congratulations on the opportunity, and uh, best of luck. Thank you very much. He's Rod Barajas, folks, new manager of the El Paso Chihuahuas. We'll be back with more as Sports Talk continues right here.